A lot of talk these days about this new virus going around, the coronavirus, the novel coronavirus. And I know some of you would be saying, well, so how does that fit in with Scripture? How, you know, what does God have to do with this? And how does the Scriptures play a role? Can we learn anything from this? Is the Bible actually relevant when it comes to these kind of things? Now, they say that the coronavirus began in a seafood market. And that's quite an interesting key there. Now, when it comes to Scripture, God gave us dietary regulations, dietary laws. Why would He do so? Did He just want to just give us laws for just the sake of giving us laws? Or is there an actual purpose? Perhaps, being the Creator, He knows what's good for us and what's not good for us. And in those laws, a lot of different food is forbidden. Let's put that aside just for a second. Let's think about the other viruses that have been going around in recent decades. We have the H1N1 virus. They called it the swine flu, and that obviously came from pigs. We've got SARS, and they said that that came from cats or eating cats. We have Ebola, and they say that that came from eating bats. Now. Let's put aside also your opinion, your, your position in regards to whether or not we should follow the dietary laws in Leviticus chapter 11. Let's just put that aside just for a minute. Just suppose, let's just suppose that everybody in the world obeyed those dietary laws. They didn't eat cats. They didn't eat bats. How many lives would have been saved? Ebola would never have existed. SARS, it's a good chance that even SARS would never have existed either. So even if you believe that it's okay to eat things that is forbidden, according to Leviticus chapter 11, anybody in their right mind would say, hey, if the world went by those rules, went by those regulations, if they ate what God said is okay to eat, if they did not eat what God said not to eat in that chapter, a lot, a lot of lives would be saved. Now, since we're on this topic, let me just take it a step further. What about all the STDs out there? What about AIDS? I know this is not talking about dietary laws. Now we're talking about other laws. Let's just suppose in the past century, that everybody in the world obeyed the laws of God in regards to sexual conduct and also in regards to not doing drugs. How many lives would have been saved? On that note, I'm going to say this. I have the formula to save millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, perhaps even billions of lives in the future. Obey the scriptures. Simply obey the scriptures.